kwa governors wenzako sisi ambao tumechaguliwa kama maseneta ndani ya ODM ndani ya azimio we are not the problem with devolution chairman wako chair person wako mheshimiwa eh, waiguru alikuja senate juzi wanalia pamoja na magavana wengine hata niliona sakanja huko wanataka eh, 450 million shillings the billion for devolution the problem is not us tell waiguru to speak to her senator kwa sababu seneta wako huyu Kavindu last time wakati ambapo CRA ile propose ya kwamba county zipewe 407 billion Kavindu alipigia 407 billion seneta wa Waiguru alisema yeye anatosheka na 395 mimi kama sifuna nilipiga 407 saa hii wewe ukiniambia unataka 450 kwa ajili ya watu wa Machakos you can trust sifuna will vote for 450 waache kutusumbua kukuja huko zene tukulialia waongee na senators wao wa UDA senators wa Kenya kwanza ndio waliangusha ugatuzi so waiguru is wasting time coming to talk to the converted sifuna does not need to be convinced that county is in money he needs to convince the senator for kriyaga awachane na sisi and already they have tried to do so and well this county has set the example because they don't want to be involved in sex, sex, sexist politics. Na njoa dunia siku hizi if you are not talking gender you actually backward. So while well, we congratulate Machakos County to the next extend Nakuru County for being in the forefront of of making sure there is gender balance. Let us not take it and you know I've just come from the National Dialogue Committee I want to thank you members na ona mlipitisha eh, jana your report and one of the things we are dealing with is how do you deal with this issue of gender balance two thirds gender two thirds gender rule machakos ile was idea but now as bishop has said don't quote him out of context kwanza kusema watu wa machakos wamekaliwa na kina mama no wanaume ndio walichagua hawa viongozi I think it's important to know these are the times we live in. If the country can take that example, can you tell once again, well done. My brother Susiona, I know you. You're eloquent. Don't allow that eloquence to be swallowed at all in parliament when it comes to the rights of a Kenyan. Stand up and be counted. This is the time. Yale mengine sitaki kuongea sana and all of you let us unite our people and unite this country by extension sitaki aka niongee beyond that because i don't want to abuse that privilege we just want to celebrate to your mama isi pesa zote na taxes ambazo tunakatwa zinaenda wapi zinaenda wapi wan ademraza mapunda amechoka simuseme kwa sauti kama mnasema punda amechoka Punda amechoka. Koti zote ambazo tunaongezewa sisi kama maseneta wa azimio tunakataa. Hata hiyo motion ya housing tunaenda kuangusha. Because the majority can have their way, the minority can have their say. We will continue speaking. And as I finish right now we are going to the house next week as senate. MPs of this country failed us on the issue of housing levy. We as senators, as we leave Kitui, I don't know what you are telling, I mean as we leave Machakos, I don't know what you are telling your senator Mama Kavindu. But myself from Migori, ndugu yangu Sifuna from Nairobi, we have been instructed by our people to stop that housing levy. I stop here I must stop. I stop I must stop. Let me tell you teachers as I finish. If you must insist on housing levy, do it with some of the decorum the way Singaporeans do it. Instead of forcing people to buy houses, Mr. President, simply say, I am going to come to Kambani, mtu ambaye ana nyumba ya nyasi, nimpatie 50,000 aongeze kwa nyumba mabati. Mtu ambaye ana nyumba mabati, nimpatie 30,000 aongeze akue na nyumba ya simiti. Na kama uko na simiti na mabati, aongeze nyumba yake ikue na stima. That is the real housing levy in other adventurous democracies. 
North is one ya ukora ya kunyanganya watu pesa alafu nawekea campaign ujo nuno na watu wait. If anything is going to happen, Ruto will be a one-term president and we know where to look at in 2027. Asa <laughs> Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niombe viongozi wa azimio. Kenya inatutarajia sisi na tutegemea sisi. Musije mkakubali hawa ndugu zetu ambao wanaingiza hadithi ndani ya magazeti, ndani ya vyombo vya habari, eti kwamba kuna misukosuko ndani ya ODM. Hakuna msukosuko. Mimi na Kalonzo tuliongea, nikamwambia Kalonzo, we kaa tu hapa nyuma ya baba. Sisi watu ya ODM tunachukuanga instructions from only one center. Baba akisema left, tunaenda left. Akisema right, tunaenda right. Kaa tu hapo nyuma mambo itakuwa mzuri. Angekuwa hapa angewaambia sifuna aliwaambia. Mnanielewa nyinyi watu? Tunaelewana watu ya Majangos. Wasaku tunaelewana. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka nimalize kwa kusema mambo mawili. 2027 watu hawatatafuta ule mtu wako na pesa. Uchaguzi ya 2027 si ya ule mtu mwenye ni mjanja. Na sija wanatutisha wanatuambia oh nyie hamuna pesa. Hamjui kujipanga. Hii Ruto ni mjanja. 2027 wa Kenya wanatafuta mtu ambaye anajua kazi. Huyu mjanja kazi imemshinda. Na hiyo pesa yake kazi imemshinda. Wa Kenya wanalia wanaumia. So sio nipekeni yako sawa. Wa Kenya wanaumia wanasema tunatafuta uongozi. 2027 hatutafuti mtu ambaye yako na akili mingi. Tunatafuta mtu ambaye anajua nini? Kazi. Mimi nawaambia na nilisema huwa be Ruto is going to be a one term president because wa Kenya kila mahali wanatuambia ile uchungu wako nayo wanaazimio msijaribu ku extend hata na siku moja. Msijaribu ku extend hata na siku moja. Nawaambia Ruto is going to be a one term president. So sio enda umwambie nimesema. We ulikuwa mtu yangu wa ODM nilikuingiza kwa bunge. Sahi na kutuma pia uwaambie Ruto kwa heri. E, amalize ya heri. Aende. Tunataka watu ambao wana uongozi roho safi, mtu ambaye ana utu anaweza kusikia kilio cha wananchi. Si wananchi wanalia wewe unafinya zaidi. Wanasema wapende wasipende. Haiwezekani. Kwa hivyo tunataka mkae nganga. Wana ODM, wana wiper tusizozane. Tafadhali, tukae pamoja, tukomboe hii nchi kutoka kwa watu kama social na rafiki zake. Governor nataka nimalize Maisha imepanda, mimi niko huku mashinani. Life has become so hard. Mimi ninaona hata ile pesa tumepatiwa, I don't know to survive aje next year. I don't know how we are going to survive from June. Pesa zetu zimeenda chini. Eh? Na ni kweli, eh, Senator Sifuna amesema hapa, sasa watu waache kuambia, mimi nimeongea na Senator wangu. Na seneta wangu tumekubaliana asipitishe. Hao wengine wache kufanya ile cosmetic. Niko ni cosmetic hiyo. Kila mtu ende aongee na seneta wake. Wakikataa kuongea na seneta wao, wasi blame nini? Let them not blame anybody. Because number one, the senator you are there to protect devolution. Na wewe kama unaenda kupiga kura devolution inyanyaswe hata wale watu wa huko. Next time they should just let them go. Because they do not have the interest of the people at heart. Na mi nita muambia, tunakutana Homa Bay. Kwa wanga. Nita muambia, nini, go and lobby your senators. Because us, we have lobbied our senators. Mweshimu waka vitu si tumekubaliana. Dunene me, wetu, tiye uwe nye. Yes, 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 no, nita angusha. Tunalewana. Kila mtu aende a lobby senator wa. Wak, and let me tell you, we normally do that as governors, musidanganywa na mtu. Sindio sifuna, si munajua hivo. Yeah, mambo ikiwa ngumu, kila mtu anaongea na muna, anaongea na saneta wake. Kila mtu anaongea na saneta wake, ndi watu wetu waweze kusaidika. Maneno ingine, nimegeyo maneno ya taxi. Even me, number one, <laughs> kama machakos, I cannot ata kufikiria kuongezea watu taxes. Niki waongezea watakufa. I'll be barring every day, not even every weekend. We cannot add taxes. What we are trying to do as the government, as the county government of Machakos, we are trying to tighten our rope. Kuokota tuile kwa suppose kufanya nini, kuokotewa. But we cannot think of, think of adding taxes to them. Kwa hivyo mina muandia mwishmua rais, ujue, kama wanataka maneno ikulu uku down, mwaga vitu kuchini, watu wapate, watu watulie. 
Because if people don't have one, Sosion is my friend. And my very good friend. Seriously, we just need to tell the president the truth. The ground is not good. The ground is not good to mueleze tu awachilie vitu. Imagine kama huku chini kumenyamaza, dunia imefanya nini? Imetulia. But kama huku chini mambo ni... You know, it is not good for everybody. So tafadhali, endo umambie tu vizuri, eh? Angalie. Angalie, waangalie wa maneno ya watu, diyo hii mshida mingi iishe katika, uh, katika Kenya. Yes. Anyone thinking of reducing money is going to devolution. Zile zinaenda kwa wanainji. Uyo ne adui wa taifa na wanainji wa Kenya. Iyo mboto maapu ni gani? Na tunapogonyo. Kuna mboto maapu. So in this case, wanainji wetu. As Kenyans, let's mark the members of National Assembly who are voting for that kind of an agenda. And we deal with them when it comes to, in fact, we should not even allow them to speak to us. Because wakati further ya devolution inakuwa reduced, maji mutatua wapi. Hizi barabara za huku kejiji, huyo gabana atawatolea wapi. Pesa ya hospitali, mutaandalea kulia ina dawa, gabana anakuja hapa analia, although she is trying, hapa. You know? Tafadhali, the only thing that can bring revolution in this country should be every Kenyan should fight for strengthening devolution. That is the only way to tasaidika kama wanaiji wa Kenya. We fight for the resources from the center. Siende uko chini. Your Excellency.